people, welcome to the Mank Talk. I'm back with Steve. Yes, We're in the building. This video is sponsored by the Le Bomb app. If you guys don't know, um, Le Bomb app is a football predictor app when you and your mates can win some money. Yes, win some money. So you and your mates can all say, let's for example, put £10 in the pot. We got big six, so we'd have what, £60 to win. You guys put your football predictions in there. Bit of a laugh in your group mates. You can message on there as well. Leaderboard, direct leaderboards and whatnot. So every week, you know what I mean? Instead of asking your mum for money, go on there, get win some money. And yeah, for me, it's pretty fun on that. You, know, you get to see the leaderboard, you know, I'm excited Premier League season as well. There's goals galore. So get on it, people. You know what I mean? You have to be over 18, uh, 18 or over, sorry. And uh, yeah, man, link is in the description below. Le Bon app, get on it, I'm on it. We've got me, Lee Chappie, Hammers. You got me a couple of lads on there. I know Lee Chappie's gonna be looking at this, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm gonna win it again, because he got a few predictions right, you know, last season. So people, get on the app, you know, it's good fun. And yeah, man, just get your predictions in and just keep, you know what I mean, get, get that money in and just keep raking it in, man. So yeah, man, people, Le Bon app, link in the description. Exciting, exciting app, I'm on it, so you get on it. And then, yeah. Let's move over to Steve. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Where's the energy, man? There's no energy. Where's the energy? No, come on. Viva. The amount of energy you was giving out last week, yeah. Yeah. Listen, it, it, it was like, it was like a hurricane. You I know, know what, what I mean? mean? Your life was good. The yeah. sun was shining. Yeah. You know what I mean? You you was getting up in the morning, zippity doo da, zippity <laughs> hey, flying down the stairs like that guy. My, oh my, what a wonderful day. Yeah. And all that, Renat, Viva, Renato, and all that. Now you got smoked off the chocolate guy, the guy <laughs> didn't you? I said it on Don Robbie, yeah. you've been beat off a bunch of chocolate makers, mate. And they've even got the worst name in the world, yeah. Young Boys. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? In the, in, the, in, the, in the Summit Stadium, you know what I mean? Like it's Come on, man. Back to reality, mate. Come on. Back Daddy Glitter's to... mob have turned you right over. <laughs> <laughs> in it. You definitely don't want to be in their gang. That's all I'm oh, saying, mate. Man. I'm telling you now. Disaster, mate. You know what I mean? Tell man. me what happened because look, I'm, I, I'm. <laughs> Listen, looking at your team you had on paper, yeah. you should have beaten them with six men. Six men, mate. They're not even championship level, league one level. I'm being real with you, man. They were not great, man. They kept hitting like a barn door every minute. You know what I mean? They were awful, man, and we couldn't be. Like the thing is, yeah, you go down to ten men, right? Okay, fair enough. You're down to what? But they were so poor, man, and it sounds as if we kind of like, we look like the United of old, where we just look toothless. Up front, no ideas, the players were all disorientated, the manager had no idea, he hooked off Ronaldo. You know, there's no Viva Ronaldo, mate, it's, it's, you know. Do you think you're putting too much expectation on this signing, seriously? We, listen, mm -hmm. we get the razzmatazz and the jazz, yeah. but... I missed Saturday already, Newcastle, you know what I mean, that game, man. Yeah, I missed but that listen, feeling. don't you think that went too well? Yeah, it did went too well, and I think that's what maybe it's got me a bit too giddy. There's a hell of a lot of people been yeah. in my DMs, yeah, for a week. I know. Week solid, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of DMs, man. I've got it, every by the way. single DM screenshotted of all you lunatics, and I've told you what I'm going to do. At the end of the year, I'm going to bring out a nice vlog yeah. of everyone's DMs. Mom's I'm going to name, shame them. Get it's a skull fuckery on it. I tell you, mate, it's going to be peak, but listen, I mean, I'll be honest with you now. Um, I, don't, I didn't watch the game, I watched bits of it, I was going in and out, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think they had to wash my hair and all that, you know yeah. what I mean? But um, at the end of the day, it looked to me that... Um, is it, do you reckon this is the same old problem? I know you always say like, Oli this, Oli that, you know, but you know what I mean? Like, do you not think that man management wise, we just kind of like, we didn't know what to do. We, we sat back for literally the whole of second half. You, you, man City, perfect example, Pep Guardiola or Chelsea, when he went down to Anfield, he still got to have a game plan, and we just didn't have a game plan. And it was almost as if kind of like... Do you know what though, I'll be honest with you, I think Oli did have a game plan, but he never thought he'd see you go behind. So he's got his plan in his that's, mind. That's exactly We're going to go young boys. Yeah, yeah. No, but to be honest, if I'm manager of Man United with that team, yeah. I'm, I, I'm sat on the team bus and I'm not even thinking we're going behind in this. Yeah, of course. So he's probably thought, this is what happens. Mm. The, the, the thing what I think where Oli struggles is when something happens in a game yeah. that you didn't expect of course. and you've got to react. Yes. I just think to myself, yes. right? Because and, and you look at him and, and who's the kid? Who's, who's his assistant? Kieran McKenna and, 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 and Michael Carrick. And, and he's going, 
and, and he's, he's like, as if to say, fuck, what do we do now? And then he's asking his opinion, his opinion. And then Ronaldo come off and he's tapping him on the arse and making sure he's all right. And it was and a bit like... Apparently, Ronaldo and Bruno on the touchline say, come on, boys. And they're apparently saying, you know, they're playing managers almost. Like, it's, it's almost as if, like, there's too many chefs in the kitchen. And the kitchen's a bit messy. It's like Gordon Ramsay now. And he's coming out now. The United fans are kind of saying, what's going on, mate? Well, there's a, a, I've seen a, um, a Juventus fan. On a, on, a, on a show the other day talking about Ronaldo and he said the, t- the team changes he said the players and I don't know if you've seen it did you see that free kick from Bruno when he went to pass it into Ronaldo yeah, yeah, yeah. because Ronaldo told him to yeah, 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 no. I think it, people are scared of telling him to fuck off I'd have gone like that get in the box I'm having a shot or yeah, yeah, I'm whizzing it in all the big boys are up you know yeah, what I mean course, trying to yeah, play yeah. it into Ronaldo you know what I mean it's not, uh, what are you trying to say that Bill? I just think I think there's going to be games where you notice Ronaldo's impact instead of it being positive 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 yeah, yeah. sometimes it'd be negative because mm. I can see him having a tantrum yeah of course can you see Solskjaer pulling him no in, in a game when you need a goal to no. bring on Martial or no, something no, like no, that no. and then him stomping off the, the only reason the, the, the thing with Ronaldo is on that game I thought he should have been subbed off 15 minutes earlier. And that's me, coming from a United fan that loves Ronaldo, but the game... You've got to do it though. Hey? You see, he's in a, this is his predicament now. Yeah. I know. If he it's takes bad. him off with 15 minutes to go or whatever, yeah. and you get beat, they're gonna, the fans are going to turn on him. If he takes him off and brings on Martial, Martial gets you the winner, then it'll be, oh, Martial done the business, it won't be Solskjaer. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Solskjaer's in a position where he can win. No. I don't think he's in a position where he can win. The Conte rumours are now getting I know they're bigger, getting bigger, 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 Steve is having a meltdown or whatever. This is what you, this is what we are now. Man United are almost back in a way where everyone's looking at us thinking. When you're at that top table, yeah, there's no excuses. No, there isn't. There isn't. You know I mean, there's no excuses for sitter. Um, if I've got to come out and defend it, you know what I mean. There was people saying going on at me on the big six the other day, going, "Oh, Steve is this and Steve is Steve this." But the thing is with me. You know. I'm real, 100% yeah, real. Course, I'm yeah, telling yeah. you how it is, how I feel. Yeah. I could go on that big six show or sit on this show here with you yeah. and be absolutely impartial and neutral and, 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 and just tell tell you what you want to hear. Yeah. The show could flow nice yeah. and everyone would go home and everything's cool. The big six show, everyone's having a nice time. Now, course, I'm yeah, like, yeah. nah, that ain't right. No. Nah, and, and, no. and I'm at, that's how I am and, and, and that's how we but are. Because at the end of you're a football show. fan as well, you know what I mean? Of course we are. We're, yeah. not, we're not tribalistic to the point where I won't give you kind of like a real feeling like, you know, of your club and this and that, you know. And then they ever watch this football nowadays, you don't just want to support your own club. And I think for me, right, this is the problem here, is that when the game, like you said, doesn't work out for you, you have to have a plan B. Yeah. Steve, you know, just Guardiola, just assume that if something's not going right now, you know. He was going, let's, obviously we'll talk about it a bit more. Guardiola was going mad at uh, mad. Mares and Greenish. Mad. Mad, mate. Mad. And obviously people were right about, right, right, you know, the little memes of you, you, you did this bastard, you did <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? But the thing is, it's good from a fan's point of view, it's good to see because we shouldn't be conceding three goals at home to, to RB Leipzig. Absolutely. Yeah? But Nathan Aki was there, and then, you know my feelings on Nathan, yeah, 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 you know yeah, what I mean? Course. Nathan, if you ever watch this, mate, I've got nothing personal against you, but Manchester City with Nathan Aki in the back line, Always struggle. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, if yeah, Laporte yeah. or Stones is there alongside you, you know what was happening last night? Yeah. Ruben, D- Ruben Diaz was scared every Come time out. the ball oh. went to Ake. So you had Diaz steaming across to help him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he was leaving people all over. Yeah, of course. But when you've got like Laporte, Diaz or Scholes, Emmerich's got that box. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing what I'm doing. Yeah, of course, of course. Do you know what I mean? But the thing is, like you say, Guardiola, we've seen it with Pep, he's changed things in games. Yes. And won his game. Absolutely. I know what you're saying with Ole, you don't yeah. tend to get The thing is, game. right, the players can win your games. Yeah. But my thing is, right, I look at Oliver and Solskjaer, it's been inconsistent where he's been the one to make a difference. Yeah. Like, Listen, the Newcastle game, you know, with the Fiend of Trafford, Ronaldo back, the game almost wins it for itself. Yeah. But I want to know when the game where you feel like Oli is the man to say, right, we've got these tactics, 
You know what I mean? You'll do it here. That like, man City away, I'll put that down to Ole and I'll be like, you know what, fair play Ole. Yeah. You had a set of tactics, you beat Guardiola, fair enough. But, but this season now, with the players you've got in that pitch, oh. you can't come to the Etihad and defend. No, you can't. No, no, no. You've no. got to come to the Etihad and go, we're Man United, we're coming to fuck exactly. you up. Exactly. I'm with you and on then, that but, one. But if you've come to the Etihad and think, we're Man United, we're going to fuck you up, you don't have to play right into our hands. I know. Whereas last year, we played right into exactly. your hands. Because we went, yo, Man United are going to sit back and Absolutely. defend. And we came steaming at you just cause on the break. Exactly. And, and, and I'll tell you what, mate. The, 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 I know that there was all fans in the stadium last year, but... We, we, we kind of like, I think City were just deflated that day. I think they just weren't at themselves, mate. When you, you know, when you got the fans back in there, the last two one before that, I thought United were brilliant is targeting Angelino. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And they got Angelino, Daniel James actually ripped him. got sent him. off last night. You know? Yeah, I know, I know. We got, I don't know why he was clapping the fans, you know what I mean? He's, you get sent off. I don't think I'll be last fans when they, when they see you <laughs> clapping the fans off. only under doing that. Yeah, well, <laughs> you wouldn't be able to hear them, but my thing is right, yeah. I just look at it and I think, Oh, look at the soul trail, right? Listen, people can say it's reactionary and all that, but I think it's been happening a few times. So, so the game the other night, yeah. um, do you think that, obviously going down to 10 men, people are saying you shouldn't be getting beat off them even with 10 men, but it's a to, be honest, it's a to be honest, they were, they, they were dangerous. They were dangerous, there yeah. Were a lot of big athletic guys, yeah, and, yeah. and they were pointing it on it, and then near the end, United were deep. Man. And they couldn't get out, they were deep. The, he put, the thing is right, he put five at the back, yeah. the wing backs were meant to push on yeah. and give you that width, they never did. He ended up just pinned back. Then pinned back, then he had Ronaldo up top, who stayed on for me a bit longer than he should have. Then he took off Van der Beek, who had a brilliant game in that first half. The only one that maybe could get the ball out and play it around. He brought on Lingard, it's a funny thing, for Ronaldo to play up front. What was he doing that pass, man? Oh, but then he, let's think, he went up front. He couldn't stay up front because anything he couldn't get the ball, so he thought, let me come deep. Then he put Martial on in the 89th minute. Yeah, I thought he put what? Martial on earlier and launched them balls. But there you go with it, exactly. And then after that, he put Jesse Lingard back into midfield. Are you kidding me, Oli? He put him back to midfield, and Jesse Lingard at that point was panicking, thinking, oh, well, I've got the ball here, what do I do with and then after that, he launched it back to the Yeah, end. it was mad. And I think it was in that mean. Can't lie, for me, it was great. Well, there you go, man. I was like, on the floor. I on the floor. Oh, man, I was oh, honestly. Man. I said, yeah, you know, United can't you know, concede at the end. And, I'm, and some, I think Don Robbins set this curse, man. Well, you, you, you wouldn't have even been happy with a point, though, really. Oh, man, are you kidding You'd me? You'd be fuming with that. This is, this is catch up, you know. This Champions League, yeah, there's something different. RP Leipzig, obviously, we'll talk about City now. They've come over to your ground. And score three, but still lost. But the fact that anything can happen, and Villarreal, we've got them at home next. Anything, if you this don't is, start this is what off well, people need to understand about this Champions League. Yeah? It's, it's all right, people saying, ah, Pep's not won the Champions League with City, did it? You different. know how I know it is, I know. You know, Arsene Wenger, how many years is he trying to win yeah. that Champions League? Yeah, they, they couldn't get near it. He had an invincible team, they couldn't get near it. You no. know what I mean? They went to one final, it's yeah. so hard, and because. The thing is, these teams are privileged to play in this competition. You could get teams like that young boy to play out the skin. I know. Look at Bruges last night. I know. Paris Saint Germain have been tipped to roll everyone. They've got Ramos, got Aruma, got Messi, gave it. I was watching that game. Mbappe and Bruges thought, you know what, mate, we'll put Bring it on. Because what people don't understand is yeah. when you sign these superstar players, I know. when you're up against teams, they think we're gonna show these yeah, guys of course. now. Same with United and Ronaldo, yeah. you're gonna get you're gonna get games where People are going to go in on Ronaldo and think yeah, I'm yeah. going to give it Ronaldo. Of course. You know, because it's going to be a target. So the pressure now for United, for me, has just gone through the roof. Absolutely. Man. Through the roof. Absolutely. And, and that's what it's going to be. You know, PSG, that game, if people are out of the way, if you watched it, man, go watch it, mate. That game was a madness because Bruges were out in the rattling lane, man. Yeah. Messi was looking like. What did we see City did last year, though? If you rattle Paris Saint Germain, they lose their head. I know. They, look, they lost their head. Do you know what I mean? You just got to get some mad psychopath in the middle to start rattling. And I'm telling you. Paris, because Neymar don't want to know. No. Don't and they'll cause Art Belize problems, you know. Mm. And you've got the next. Yeah. And they don't want to be getting their first three points away at Man City. You know, it's at home. They're home, man. They're going to Paris, yeah. Yeah, are you going, by the way? I've got a ticket, yeah, I'm going. I'm trying to sort the flights out, but someone, the city sent me a list. I've not even read it, what you need yeah. to get test wise. To be honest, I went to Marbella weekend and that was a mission, so yeah. this could be the same, I don't know. It's a bit of test, man. It might do the Don Robbie, watch along in and get yeah. some cash. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Don Robbie, man. Oh, you know what I mean? I'm cursed on there. I'm there back on Sunday, but I don't think I want to go, man, because 
I'm cursed on that set, mate. Next time Saeed comes, you're going to have to lay him like a little dog basket on the floor, so <laughs> when, he falls, when he falls off at the end, he can just go in it and sleep. <laughs> Oh, man. Really what a game this Oh, yeah, mate. It was mad. Basketball game, man. Basketball game, mate. Do you know what, though? We, we, we didn't even get out of second gear. Yeah. And it was one of them, like, every time Lions is scored, it was just like, all right, I'll just go and bag another. And yeah. that's how mad it was. Yeah. We've scored 17 goals in five games. We've got no striker. That's Grizz Khan. Grizz Khan, oh, you're watching Grizz. Yeah. yeah. The Godfather. Yeah. Well, that him, is... Oh, City's bottled the striker. City's bottled the striker and all that. Mate, the scoring goals are fun. You it's are coming from all over the park. You know what I mean? Even Nathan Ake, who I was giving a bit of grief to. Yeah, God, scored. Yeah, go on, Ake. <laughs> but I thought I just thought City did well last night. Kevin De Bruyne come back. He yeah. made a few changes. Um, Ake at the back for me, he's never never solid. Um, we shouldn't be conceding. But look, fair play to Leipzig. What fair game? play to Unkunku. Un Unkunku, man. Imagine that. Man. He got oh, a hat trick well. at the Etihad. Yeah. And was on a losing team. That that's you see, the, that, that's the, the camera pad to his face. You know when um, he come running past the south side. Scored, yeah. When he scored his third and started kissing, going one, two, three to us. I was like, slow down. I was like, you can't beat me. <laughs> Calm down. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh man, he's in it. He, he probably wants to move in it. Yeah, he, he wants, wants to move over to, to the south, don't he? But, but but you know what it is though with with that though they went over there, but it was just like it was just basketball, basketball, and that goal from Grealish. Oh mate, Jack he's on form. You know, no, apparently it's got like. Try to create a chance or whatnot, or listen, he's he, he, up there. Do you know what the best thing for Grealish, and, 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 and you, you can say what you want, was the signing of Ronaldo because it took all the pressure. Maybe from you know what it is, yeah. United. He's got on the radar, mate. He's under there now. He's playing. He's he's, he's playing. Do you know when I tell you about Pogba with consistency and stuff? Yeah, like of course. That? Yeah. Grealish is putting in eight, seven eights out of tens every game, consistent. Mm. If you do that for a full season, mm. yeah. He win the league. He's, yeah. he's creating goals. He is, man. He's 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 a mad man. He's he's, he's he's you know what he's not doing though. At Villa, he was fouled all the times. I know, no, no, no. I think at City they've told him. You know, <laughs> no, you no, 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 no. Him, mate. Because that stops him from yeah. the game. But that goal, I said to me, it's funny enough. I said to me cousin, Grealish needs a goal. I know he scored him a week, but he bounced off his knee and went in. So yeah, he needs yeah, a he proper run. And then literally within five minutes, he cut in, and then he curled what it in. Goal, and I thought, you know what? I was watching the uh, the PSG game on the side there. And, my heart went, you know what I mean? My heart stopped because all the all the brothers and that went, whoa, what a goal! Yeah. And then I just quickly seen it and I was like, flipping hell, mate, what a goal that is. But He settled in well at Manchester. Yeah, he yeah. has. His first ever Champions League game, by the way. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? You know you what know? I mean? It's like fair play to him, man. I think City don't, you know what I mean? They're doing wonders, but everyone wants to ask a question, Steve, of the Pep Guardiola comments. You know I mean? you're, the, you're for me the best man to ask, yeah. But Pep Guardiola basically Wait, said. Well, I've, I've seen his. It, 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 it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't mean. Mm. It does not mean um, what it, how it came across in that interview. Yeah. Because there's no way he means it like that. It's. It's. Um, he's, he started to say basically, oh, we see you all Saturday and all that, blah blah blah. That's fine. But he's not saying. He's not saying what they're trying to make it out. What he's saying, you know. Yeah. What I mean? he, he basically implied we need we need to come back, come on Saturday and support the team, but. Listen, listen, I, I, I'll back you behind the scenes and I'll say, look, what are Steve? And I wrote in the group chat, I said, yo, Steve, what's going on, man? Guardiola's asking the fans yeah. to come out and support. But you know what's going on right now. T like, explain to people, you know, obviously people watching, what is the mess with the ticket system listen, at, you, at Man City? At eight o'clock last night, outside the ground, there's thousands of people trying to get in. They've got these electronic ticket things, they're not working. Yeah. I've been on the phone this week five times, they're telling me to do this, it's not working. They end up sending me another digital ticket that worked. Yeah. I seen a lady last night who missed two goals. Her son's tickets, the son, son, son's tickets didn't get in. Yeah. Well, me and you just had a discussion about people sending you pictures of the empty seats. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I've just shown you on my phone, yeah, 20 minutes course. in, yeah, yeah. them seats were full. Yeah, yeah. So, listen, at the end of the day, right, I'm not being funny, I've said it on the big six. If you're another fan, Obsessing about another fan's attendance, which I've never done in my life, hungry yeah. shit. Yeah. Then it's weird. But at the end of the day, look, the attendance was decent last mm. night. There's corporate, corporate still, there all around that around like Etihad yeah, yeah. on that middle tier. Absolutely. That I never full. No. Do, you know, do you know when I went on a stadium tour? This yeah. is a true story, right? Yeah. With these kids, yeah. Yeah. And the guy said the Aguero 93 20 game. Yeah. That corporate was not full. Whoa. For that game. He said it's never been full. No. 
There's these rich the danger for the danger is I get tickets off the club or whatever oh, or these sponsors and they just you know they hear us to kind of like you know the, a day out in it and that that is that that is true because it's same like United the ticket system is a joke mate my uh, my mate Norden was saying that people were ready to kick off on the saying hurry up yeah because because you want to get in you don't want to get in and yeah here's an example of you yeah Barcelona yeah massive yeah, club aren't know, they mate, big they're massive they're club yeah. in it everyone says yeah. yeah did you see the attendance the other night yeah mate they've lost Messi. So, 50% of their fan base was gone overnight, yeah? Gone, mate, because they right? couldn't see Messi. Arsenal. Yeah. Empty seats at the Emirates every yeah. week. Thought Arsenal was a massive club and they're invincibles and they got gold trophies and all mm. that. Where's their fans gone? So, listen, mm. Manchester City, it's the only thing people can throw shit at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only thing. Yeah. Empty seats, yeah. they've got no history. We've heard it all before. Yeah. But like I said, I'd rather be a, have 5,000 empty seats and the Premier League trophy sat there. Mm. Then I've 75,000 yeah. fuck off. I can't lie, yeah. My energy for the empty seats, it's like, I'll bring it here and there yeah. and, I'll, and I'll back it, but listen, I'll try And, and the thing is, yeah, this is the best bit. People say on the big six, Steve's rattled, Steve's rattled. When this camera's off, I speak to you yeah. exactly the same as I speak to you. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, of course. Rattled, of course. It rattle me. Yeah. I'm just a normally like high energy guy and, and I'm just like, I just think, you know, I, I, I'm trying to protect my younger fan base. A lot of the young City fans are very sensitive about the empty seat thing. Yeah, you know, it's true because they, they, I feel like they're like, obviously with the social media, you know, it's funny because like, you know, and listen, not everyone can go in the stadium, but you don't see what's going on right now. You don't see what's I've just shown you what City's took out of my bank account in 10 yeah, days. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. 170 pound has gone out of my bank account in 10 days from yeah. Man City. I've got three wallets, people. I've got Carabao Cup, Champions League and you, they see it's the mad, it's getting, Listen, I, I've got more wallets than, than trophies in the last four. <laughs> <laughs> You've got more wallets I've got trophies. more wallets, man, than trophies, mate. Oh, oh what's going mate. on man, with our club, man? Oh. But you know what it is, these clubs, are, people don't realise, they're quick to say, the one that's going out of your account, yeah. da, 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 da. but then as soon as you start saying, right, what's going on here, or, I'm, like, I wanted to, like, change my season ticket uh, area, I wanted to move over to a different side, different atmosphere, whatnot. No. Couldn't get through to the bit, and then after that, I thought, you know what, forget it, I'll stay at the East End. You know what I mean? Like, this is what happens, and you know, at the end of the day, they don't care, they're here, just like purely collect money. These, these are the problem. These people who are hiding behind computers, who are in people's DMs, and think they can abuse football fans like me and you who go to the game, this is where you need to take a look at yourself, mate, because we're here day in, day out, dealing with this problem. Yeah. yeah. You're sat there, buy your replica shirt, I'm a fan, yeah, whatever, that's great, but we're dealing with this shit all the time. I've got better things to do in my life than be phoning Manchester City supporter services, yeah. being on hold for five hours five to hours, get my yeah. ticket done, then they don't do it. And we don't have a number. We don't have a number mean? for us. Better thing to do than yeah. get to the match and your Cost. ticket don't work. Yeah, yeah. I seen an old guy outside. Bless him. And he could not, he didn't know how to work a smartphone. His family's yeah. obviously bought him a phone. Yeah, of course. He couldn't get it up. Some guy had to help him and all that. It's, and honestly, I'm thinking, it's crazy. Show this guy respect, man. He's been going years, man. Yeah, he should have a gold but ticket, it, mate. Exactly, but the thing is, what they're trying to do is, they're clever. I, I, I was speaking to my brother last night, what they're trying to do is, they'll have one season of this, they'll get everyone on memberships, yeah. and then next season, boom, you're back to the normal, whatever, whatever. And that's what will happen. So what they're trying to do is generate as much money as they can. The, the biggest absolute nonsense I heard in my life was, if you're on the cup scheme, and you can't go to the game, mm. you're not allowed to give your ticket away. That is what Manchester City said. You cannot give your ticket away. So if I place. can't go last night, my seat's empty. Yeah. Right? So everyone's kicked off, kicked off, kicked off, kicked off. The day before the game, yeah. I got an email. Manchester City have, have bowed down to fan pressure and announced that you can now transfer your ticket. After the lads are going, fucking no way. Yeah, do yeah, one, yeah, mate. Yeah, do one, yeah. You know what I mean? Because you, you're just rattling your own supporters. Because yeah. people are working. Course. Manchester's a working class city. Of course. We've just had a COVID, you know, outbreak mm -hmm. thing, you know what I mean? We've just been on lockdown yeah. and all that. People's families are not the same. No. You know what I mean? I'm in a fortunate position that, you know, I've saved a little bit of money up and I can I can I can same, afford same. to go to the game. Same. But these people out there now who I know will say, Oh, get me, me I come and my other son, but we couldn't afford to take the mm. other kit too. I've got people so. saying to me, I want tickets, I'm like, sorry, but it's 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 difficult. Normally if I've got I say now tickets, I can just say, you know what, I'll post it to you. Yeah, I can't oh, deliver yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, lad. Like, come meet me in the stadium, I'll give you a ticket. And I don't worry, I don't mind like not even charging anything. I don't, I, you take it or whatever. And you can't do it anymore because every day you need all these wallet things that you send it. And I'm like, yeah. all that hassle, is it worth it? 
That's what Sad. Man, man, they, they, these Sad. Premier League clubs, a lot of them are thinking, you know what, we've got a premium product, we've got the fans hooked, we can basically do whatever we want. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We can yeah. basically do whatever we want and they're going to do it because, you know, football fans are loyal, you know, you're not going to, but they're pushing people away, man. I think they're pushing a lot of older fans. Away. That's what that's be my base there, yeah. It's like they've got to clear the deck. Of course, of course. Because, because you've got a 60 year old City fan, Yeah. he goes to the home games, he don't go to the away games, don't he don't buy me. a shirt, don't buy a shirt, don't buy a merch, you know what I mean? He's got his own flask. So if they can, <laughs> if they can bin him, yeah, yeah. He's got his own flask. Him, and bring a young kid in at 18, of 19, course. they've got another 30 years of, yep, of, of, of revenue course. off him, you know what I mean? But there you go then, you know what I mean? It's wrong though. It's wrong, but they, what they do is, they want to prize them out, you know well, what I mean? But I'll be one of them older dudes with a Man City pack lunchbox <laughs> on like years ago. Anyone tries coming with me and getting whacked with it? <laughs> <laughs> and that's what they do in the United game, apparently. They're people that whacking each other, get in the stadium, what are you up for? Oh, mate. It's what it is, man. But Premier League is on the weekend as well. Games are coming thick and fast, man. You've got West Ham. West Ham away, mate. Tough game, man. I think, you know, West Ham, they've had a week off. They're up tonight as well, though. Are they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> So they might have a, they oh. might have a bit of a rough ride in Croatia there. Yeah, I know, man. The West Ham versus Croatia. You know what so means? at least you've had a few days. If, yeah, yeah, we've yeah, got about yeah, two Chocolate days on the banking. But I think boys will. You know what? I think boys will just not be bothered about that tournament. They'll just be like, put his youngsters out. Okay. Yeah, I reckon he will do. I think he'll look at the Premier League and think that's our bread and butter. So I think um, I, I, I'm excited about the Premier League. I just think. Ronaldo coming back, it's got you guys, you know, yeah. the tails up. I think Lukaku at Chelsea's hit the ground running. Mate, Mo Salah at Liverpool's looking like yeah. he's just back to his best. Back to his best. City are, are pinging him in from all The angles. top four, it's, it'd, be, it'd be a tricky one. I think City will win, convincingly. I think United will win, but just about. I'm going for 2 1. So, you know, that's my prediction on the Lib Bomb app. Make sure you go and check that out. Um, but I think. Chelsea might get stuck against Tottenham, but I, I still got them to win a narrow win. No, I think Tottenham's had their little, little yeah, know, honeymoon man. period, mate. I know they, they, they You know, they do, they, they do City at the beginning of the season, they always do us then, last yeah. two seasons, and I think they've just, you know, they've done a couple of scrapey results, and then yeah. obviously Palace have brought them back Smacked down. Them, you know, and then people seeing that will think Chelsea, I mean, Chelsea's. Just for that, Chelsea looks looks solid all across the park. I mean, against Zenit the other night, Zenit were a good side. I know, I know. I've, I, I, a lot of Brazilian kids running about. A lot of Brazilian kids. They've got. I don't know what it is with their history, but it's never it, it, the that always produce Brazilians and all that. But. I think it's where you're getting a work permit. In. I think if you go maybe. from Brazil over to there, I think you can get a work permit. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah maybe. maybe your back, clubs yeah. take a minute, but yeah. we got Fernandinho from the Shakhtar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we got uh, Fred from. Yeah, we'll yeah. talk about that. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, Southampton, obviously for you guys, I mean... Um, yeah, I'm confident, look, we, we, we've, we've had three home games and scored 5-5-6. Five, five, I know, and Southampton are Southampton are so. coming thinking... They've had a nil nils. you know what I mean? They've not the only been... thing worrying me is Nathan again. Yeah. Because Stones and Laporte are injured. Oh, oh my God, so, man. So, you would have uh, thought all the... Like, you know what I mean? Like, both of them are out. Both. But played, how can he play for England then? And then he's in... That day was probably thinking that. Like, I think Wait, Southgate is probably needs to say to him, listen... Stop playing him, bud. I just think, look, look, I'm excited, me now. I don't know about you, but yeah. midweek, I, I, it's like City last night, buzzing today, and I'm thinking, two more days, I'm back there. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, you mean. Buzzing again, and then, yeah, yeah, and then the tickets are coming out Chelsea away, Liverpool away, yeah, yeah, Paris Saint Germain away, I'm thinking, Whoa, the missus is giving me pure shit. <laughs> and I was like, you've just had two years of me outside the house watching Coronation Street in green. Do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, football again. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, no, nah, football's forever, mate. Yo, I think we've got a couple mate. of pictures like that as well. Uh, but they're coming thick and fast, people. So tune in for that one. But people, that's the man talk. Like I said to you, the video is sponsored by the Bomb app. Make sure you go check it out. Link is in the description. You and the mates can get involved and win some money, you know what I mean, and whatnot. And yeah, man, get involved, link in the description. Steve, make sure you go check him out as well. He's got his match reaction out on the channel, so make sure you go check him out. He's gonna be doing a QA or whatever live video soon. Yeah, um, I'm gonna try and do some live video. The only reason I ain't done the lives is because I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. He helps yeah, me out here. So yeah, so I'm learning, I'm yeah. learning, and then we'll, we'll start doing it. Yeah, don't forget the big six show. Better, yeah. Big six show as well. Big six up. show as well. I won't be there, but. Oh, listen. He out listen. You know what I mean? He's been on every single one. As soon as United get beat, now generally. Listen, I'll like, do what told me about Christy. I'm learning from the best people. But um, yeah, man, the studio set is to start to work. Yeah, we just, we just we've got, listen. This is the temporary studio. We're, we're building something yeah. big for you guys. So listen, appreciate the support. Yeah, Mank Talk. 
it's not done anywhere else. I don't know any other channel that does mm. two rivals sat here. After the camera goes off, we end up having a scrap. Yeah, after the camera's rolling, me and him, we just end up having a scrap. Yeah. He goes his way, I go my way and that. We that's it, man. That's, that's, that's what we like to do, man. Don't we? Just two fans. Nah, it's all good, man. It's good, isn't it? It's football, it's but yeah. a good show, on it? We, we tried it. We thought, we'll see how it works. We didn't know whether it would bomb or not. But I had City fans coming up to me at the Etihad last night going, I love the show, the man talk and that. Like, I listen to it in work and stuff. So Yeah, man. You know what it is? It's just two fans having a chat. And, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm sure... People will see this and people that will be looking at thinking, oh, you know what, man? If you could get this on a bigger show or a bigger platform, mate, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be giving it, man. I'll be showing the man, my dad's like, he'll be showing the man City Shining. And if there's anything you guys want us to do, maybe yeah. some of the weekly yeah. a prediction or I don't maybe know. Like, maybe, maybe hopefully we could do some like, um, some videos where it'd be like challenges or whatever or questions or what not. Forfeits. Yeah, forfeit. You know what I mean? Let us know in the comments below and we'll sort it out. But yeah, man. That's been the Man Talk people. Make sure you subscribe, like the video. Channel's flying at the minute, you know what I mean? But we want to make sure as well, get Steve up to 5K, man, you know what I mean? Uh, Viva Young Boys. Well, <laughs> we'll see, man. I'll, be, I'll probably be singing Sunday, Viva Ronaldo. That's how it works, people. But for now, people, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you soon, guys. Take care. Bye bye. Peace.